HP has been one of the industry leaders in innovation in wide format digital printing. Taking a step outside of the box, HP completely moved away from their low solvent and UV ink offerings to double down on their HP latex inks. Join me as I go back in time and walk you through the 14 year journey of HP latex inks, covering the main differences between their two current available ink sets, the Gen 3 and Gen 4 ink sets. HP first introduced their latex ink technology when they first introduced the L65500 at Drupa back in May of 2008. It was the first printer to feature HP's latex ink technology and their first step into moving away from HP's former offerings of low solvent and UV cured inks. Fast forward to 2022, HP latex ink has come a long way since 2008. Now in their fourth generation of latex inks, HP continues to make innovative tweaks to their water-based latex inks. Known features and advantages like the fact that they are odorless, cure instantly with no outgassing, and their anti-scratch durability. Since 2008, HP has continued the commitment to sustainability by being environmentally conscious while continuing to improving the latex inks performance and vibrancy that end users look for in a wide format printing device. Let's take a look at the generations. As you can see, there has been a number of products invented. Like any invention in history, very rarely is something invented to perfection the first time instantaneously. Typically, over time, things are re-engineered to be made better and better. HP made some key advancements in their HP ink technology through each generation. Let's go through the key differences that made the Gen 3 inks and the Gen 4 inks so special. Starting with the Gen 3 inks. The liquid magnet, or optimizer fluid, was the first big innovation when HP moved from their Gen 2 inks into their Gen 3 inks. This fluid helped improve image quality by eliminating dot gain, resulting in cleaner lines and sharper images. The second innovation was HP's anti-scratch agent. HP added this durable ingredient moving from their Gen 2 ink into their Gen 3 ink. This added an insane durability factor. Now end users can print and install products for most applications without the need for lamination due, the, due to the incredible durability that the anti-scratch agent provided. Moving into the latest ink set from HP, let's look at the differences and improvements that went from the Gen 3 inks to the Gen 4 inks. Let's start with the overcoat fluid. This isn't necessarily new. However, if you remember the anti-scratch agent from the recent Gen 3 ink set, the overcoat fluid is essentially the anti-scratch agent fluid that was previously mixed in with the Gen 3 inks. Now it's in its own channel. This started when HP released the first ever HP latex flatbed lineup, the R1000 and R2000. And this continued into their new 700 and 800 series. Having this separate, it gave end users control over how much or how little durability they wanted on their prints. If you're planning on laminating after printing, simply turn the overcoat off on your profile. Looking to add more protection without having to laminate? Increase the overcoat protection. The second thing I'd like to mention is pigment load. HP increased the pigment load, which increased the density of color and reduced the amount of ink needed for coverage essentially improving the ink's gas mileage by lowering the amount of ink needed to achieve what was previously needed to cover in the Gen 3 ink set. Third, I'd like to talk about the lower curing temperatures. HP's Gen 4 ink set was able to cure with 30% less heat than their Gen 3 inks. This increased media versatility even more on what latex inks could print on, which in past generations, the higher curing heats caused medias to be temperamental or not even possible to print on. The fourth thing I'd like to cover, and final thing, is the white ink. This was probably the most exciting feature in the Gen 4 ink set. HP's white ink is the most opaque, brightest white ink on the market today. It does not yellow over time, and it produces a crisp, bright white look that rivals all the white inks out on the market today. This is now available on both their flatbed and new roll-to-roll -roll devices. Customers are taking advantage of not only the look of the ink, but its internal ink recirculation system and on-demand white ink capabilities, eliminating the need for purging and constant cleaning that non-latex end users have to do today. 
Okay, we made it. Over the past 14 years, HP has made several changes to their inks, generation by generation. It makes you wonder what the next innovation will be in their Gen 5 inks. If you have any questions, please contact us and ask for a commercial sales rep, or just leave a comment below. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel to be notified about future video releases. Thanks for watching and have a great day.